Welcome back, True Seeker. I just want to cover why Beirut got bombed so bad on September 27th, the anniversary of the Jesuit order being recognized by the Roman Catholic Church in the time of its leader, Ignatius of Loyola, who went on to become the first superior general. Notice the gematria of Beirut in the four base ciphers. You see the 75 with the alphabetic order. You see the 30 with the alphabetic order in numerology. You see the 87 with the reverse alphabetic order. You see the 42 with the reverse alphabetic order in numerology. Again, the founder of the Jesuits, his name, Ignatius of Loyola, equates to 75 and 87. And we've seen these numbers come together a lot this year because the first ever Jesuit Pope, Pope Francis, is 87. And don't forget the Jesuits came out of suppression in history on August 7th, 87. But the leader of the Jesuits, the black Pope, the superior general Arturo Sosa, is 75. Again, Arturo Sosa, born November 12th, 1948, the same year Israel was established. The Pope born December 17th, 1936. Keep in mind, the Catholic Church also equates to 75 and 87. That's who the Jesuits serve. And the Jesuits are the Society of Jesus. And notice, when you apply numerology, you have 30 and 42 for Beirut. The ministry of Jesus begins at age 30. The word Bible equates to 30. The New Testament is the story of Jesus. New Testament equals 42, it begins with the 42 generations to Jesus. Keep in mind, war equals 42, as does world war, as does Hamas, as does Iran, which was overthrown by the CIA in a major Jesuit ritual in the 50s. And you better believe we never gave it back. We use it as a boogeyman state to create excuses so that we can, you know, do what Eisenhower warned about. Things beyond our worst nightmares with this military-industrial complex. But yeah, on this very Jesuit day, another very Jesuit bombing of Beirut. And remember, the Jesuits like to blow things up with fireworks. Go back to 2020, August 4th. It was Obama's birthday that there was a massive explosion in Beirut that was blamed on fireworks. And we know that was a lie, but it was on 8-4, 201 days from Michelle's birthday when the Jesuit order equates to 201 and 84. Again, we're in the time of the first Jesuit Pope, Mr. 201 himself, the first to live in suite 201 at the Vatican. I mentioned Ignatius of Loyola equals 75 and 87. Remember, Ignatius of Loyola equals 201 like the Jesuit order, like order of Illuminati. Like Jorge Mario Bergoglio, that's Pope Francis, when the Jesuits are from France, and the last French Pope was the 201st. But yeah, this is sick, you guys. Again, when Israel's bombing, it's really just an extension of the U.S. bombing. Let's not forget, State of Israel equates to 201. Same Jesuits run both nations. Our tax dollars in the U.S. pay for Israel's bombs. Remember, we sent $95 billion to Ukraine in Israel on the 201st day of the war in Israel, and that money was approved a few days earlier on Adolf Hitler's birthday, whose birth certificate name is Adolphus Hitler, which equals 201, and he modeled his order after the Jesuits, and the Catholic Church turned a blind eye. And again, State of Israel equates to 201, and Netanyahu came back on Albert Pike's birthday, 1229, when 1229 is the 201st prime, and Albert Pike wrote the letter about three world wars and published it on August 15th, the day the Jesuits were born in France in history, and the third world war is about political Zionism, and it goes with Netanyahu first stepping down on June 13th, the day leaving 201 days left in the year before he came back by the numbers. For the record, Benjamin Netanyahu equals 282, and the war began 282 days after his birthday. Again, it's the Jesuits who are the puppeteers. They run that nation, they run this nation, and again, they're the Illuminati, Order of Illuminati 201. Just like how David Ben-Gurion died 201 days after the anniversary of the establishment of Israel, Adam Weishaupt the Jesuit who founded the Illuminati died 201 days after the anniversary of that order's establishment. 
Fire illuminates things, doesn't it? Just like big bombs. I still remember how they were marketing to us the destruction of Baghdad after 9-11. Tune in to CNN. It's like a free pay-per-view if you got cable. The bombing of Baghdad. I'm sure they went to commercial breaks to outcast bombs over Baghdad, seeing as how they're both Atlanta area. Anyway. Anyway, we'll leave it there for now, True Seeker. Thank you again to everyone who has the like and the share. The world's not going to change unless the word gets out about what's really going on. And most people are lost in the sauce. Till next time.